Hey, what's up? This is Travis Melander for CloudAthletics.com, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create content for your video library. Alright, so once you're on the Create Content page, you'll see it looks very similar to any other video hosting site by giving it a name, description, keywords, etc. For this tutorial, I've selected this video from YouTube to show you how to channel it over to CloudAthletics.com. The first thing we'll do is give the content a name and a description. In this case, it's arm bar finish. The next thing you have to do is choose what kind of content you are creating. You have the choices of instructional video base, non-instructional video base, and non-video base. For this video, we'll choose instructional video base. In the instructional video base content type, you will have to choose between a neutral technique, bottom technique, top technique, warm ups, training for wrestling, and video critique. For an arm bar finish, it's a top technique. You will then have to choose what kind of top technique it is. In this case, it's a bar series. And then what technique area? It's a finish. When defining a permission level, you have three choices. Program, which is available to all users on the site. Shared, which is only available to users that have been granted access to your shared content. And Private, which is only available to users if you send it to them directly from your own library. For this, we'll use Program. In the difficulty selection, you have two choices, suitable for all wrestlers including youth, or designed for more advanced wrestlers. For an arm bar finish, this is suitable for all wrestlers. To copy the YouTube URL or ID, you can do it one of two ways. You can highlight the URL and right click and select Copy, or by using the keyboard keystrokes Command or Control C to copy what is selected. To paste the selected URL, you can again choose to either right click and select paste, or you can use the keystrokes command or control V to paste the selection. Keywords and common mistakes are an optional tool to help users find your video. After you have finished typing out your video's keywords or common mistakes, you now have the option to either continue to add thumbnails and its descriptions to the right, or you can submit your content now and post the thumbnails later at your own leisure. On this video, I will submit the content now and come back later to add the thumbnails. To create a thumbnail for a newly posted video, or to change a previous video's thumbnail, simply go to the My Library page and select the video that you would like to update or change. If you already have set thumbnails that you would like to use saved onto your computer, you can then go ahead and click the Modify This Content link. If you do not have thumbnails and or don't know how to create them, you can easily create thumbnails right here on CloudAthletics.com. Simply play the video and pause it at the right moment that you want to capture a thumbnail. If you are using a PC, you can use the Windows Snipping Tool program to click and drag a selection of the video to create a picture that you can save onto your desktop to later upload. Mac users can use the keystroke Command Shift 4 to bring up the click and drag snipping cursor. Once you have made your four thumbnails, you can now click the Modify This Content link. Now click the Browse button to find the thumbnail that you had just saved. After it is uploaded, you can now give it a description to further explain your thumbnail. Keep in mind that you can also update and or change other things on this page. When satisfied, click the submit button and you're done. Your content is now up to date and ready to share, teach, and learn using cloudathletics.com. This concludes this tutorial on how to create content for your video library. Once again, I'm Travis Melander for cloudathletics.com. Thanks for watching.